In today's video, if you're going to purchase a condominium in the year 2022 in the city of Toronto, here are three things you have to negotiate for in your agreement of purchase and sale. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, this is Sam from Sibiri 6 Real Estate and Remax Wiltron Realtor Inc. As always, welcome back to another video on this channel. If you're new to the channel, feel free to find my contact information in the description box or on the screen on this channel. We'd like to discuss all things Toronto and GTA real estate in terms of buyer advice, seller advice, building reviews, market trends, facts and updates, and so much more. So feel free to get in touch with me with any of your questions. Once again, the contact information will be in the description box. And also feel free to subscribe, comment, rate and review if you find this content informative or useful. Enough of all that self promotion. Let's get to the point of today's video, which are three items in my professional opinion, you have to negotiate for or your real estate agent should negotiate for as a buyer. Now I said in the year 2022, but these three things, honestly, you should negotiate for if you're buying a condo in 1999, in 2009, in 2015, in 2027. I just said 2022 to be very honest with you in the title, because that is what attracts the most viewers usually. And we want this information to be spread wide, right? Because what we are actually going to talk about, which is the three things any buyer should negotiate for in their offer is very important and everyone should know. Starting out with number one, a status of certificate review. Now, if you're not familiar with what the status of certificate is, you can think of it as a bill of health. That's right, it is the bill of health of a condominium corporation. So it shows you everything from the legal side of things to the financials of the condominium corporation, how much is in the condo corp's reserve fund, which is pretty much like a savings account for the condominium corporation. What is the condo's projected budget for the coming years? What is the maintenance projected to be? Is there any planned increases, how much they spent on water, how much they've spent on other utilities, if there's any renovations in the work, or if they've done any renovations, how much have they spent on that? Because at the end of the day, a condominium corporation is just that a corporation It's much like buying stock into a company, right? You get to see the financials, they're public companies. And once you do your due diligence, looking at the financials, looking at, uh, you know, where the business is headed, then you can make your investment and condominium corporations are much similar in the sense that you can look at their budget, Budgets, their cash flow statements, operating expenses, and so many financial. On the legal side of things, you really want to know, right, what you're looking at in terms of any lawsuits against the condo corp. This is all to say, of course, this is very vital to negotiate for as a buyer for a condo because you want to do your proper due diligence. Now, usually the way I negotiate for this is a five to seven business day conditional period where the buyer can do a due diligence via a lawyer review. And basically this holds up the transaction. So let's say you negotiate a price that is favorable to you and the seller and that price is agreed upon. Nonetheless, it is not a final firm deal until this condition is waived. And if you do not waive it at your own sole discretion, you get your deposit back and there is no deal. Now, the reason it's usually five to seven business days, sometimes if it calls for as low as maybe three business days, but uh, those are rare exceptions is because we want ample time to review all these facts with a professional lawyer and furthermore it's not a hot market it's not we're not talking about the highs of February uh, and March in today's market buyers can afford to take their time practice their due diligence because guess what properties are staying on the market for a long time a lot of sellers are price changing and there is not much opportunity cost associated with being a buyer that's not to say waste your time if you see something you like it and meets your criteria and you think you can get a good offer on it you can get a good price on it well obviously Obviously go for it, but there shouldn't be a compulsion towards properties in today's market. Once again, it's not like February where if we saw something, it, it would be gone within two days, right? So we really had to move fast. That doesn't happen in today's market. Moving on, number two, the second thing every prudent buyer within the city of Toronto and the GTA would have to negotiate for, which is yet another condition, the financing condition. Now, the reason I include this as one of the things you have to negotiate for as a buyer is first and foremost, it's, it's extra added protection. So if you can negotiate for it, all the better. And the logic of a financing condition, it's similar to the status of certificate review condition, where it pretty much 
holds up the deal conditionally where you get to do your due diligence as a buyer with regards to your mortgage approval. Part of the reason the markets are down is because of the higher interest rates it limits a lot of buyers potential. And as a result, you have to have that added layer of protection to make sure with the increasing interest rates, you are able to get an approval from a bank. And if it's not a actual formal approval, because depending on what bank you work with, sometimes five business days is not enough. Nonetheless, you can do as much due diligence as possible to be nearly confident enough that you can actually get your financing. And if you need any extension, sometimes my buyers, we do a five day financing condition and there's an extension required. We can always extend it. We can always go back to the negotiating table and I'm happy to say I've done so. Even if you do not need a financing condition, even if you are a hundred percent confident in your financing whether you've gone on a firm pre-approval you have an amazing credit score your salary is amazing your household income is amazing or that plus your amazing credit score or you're putting down like 40 50 60 percent whatever the reason is you're very confident in your financing i still suggest we insert this in your offer still negotiate for this condition and let me tell you why because even if you do not need it a added layer of protection from the perspective of the seller is an impediment and even if you do not need it you can always use this as a negotiating tool and of course once again i'm not saying be bad faith but of course it's an added layer of protection and it helps to haggle over it to maybe get a little bit more off the top in terms of price or get other terms and conditions more favorably towards your uh side as the buyer lastly the third thing i would really suggest any prudent buyer include in their offer in 2022 is ample amounts of buyers visits because guess what buyers visits are important and no longer due to market conditions as we said previously it's not a hot vibrant market it's a buyer's market things are slower no longer do buyers have to kind of give a quick closing to appease the seller of course a quick closing if it's in your favor as the buyer then yes try to negotiate for that but oftentimes in hot markets buyers don't really want a quick closing they kind of have to go for a quick closing because that's what the seller wants well that's in a seller advantageous market we are in a buyer's advantageous market so you can have the closing you want and if it's a long closing even if it's a quick closing by the way negotiate for ample buyer's visits. Usually I try to go for three. Three is enough in my experience because with three buyer's visits, you get to see the unit right before it closes, like a day or two before it closes. You get to go with one buyer's visit to do measurements, or if you wanna use another buyer's visits for measurements and showing your family uh, what you've purchased, Furthermore, if you need to have some contractors come take a look, give you a quote. So there's never a case where there are too many buyer's visits at your disposal. Anyways, let me know if you have any further questions in the comments or feel free to get in touch with me with my contact information in the description box and on the screen as well. Let me know if uh, you've purchased the condo and if you negotiated for much of the same as well. As always, this is Sam from Siberia 6 Real Estate and Remax Real Charm Realty Inc. Thank you very much for, for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe, comment, rate, and review. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay tuned. Thank you.